Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB School. In this video, we are going to simulate the physiology control of MTPA based FOCF PMS motor. So, in this controller, we have two loops. One is the outer loop and the other loop is the inner loop. Outer loop is responsible for controlling the speed which is done by the physiology controller. So, this is the outer loop and here we have the uh, inner loop. <coughs> so, to this uh, fuzzy, we will be giving two inputs, one is the error and the other one is the change in error. It is calculated by this portion of the circuit and here we have the MTPA reference block. Uh, so, to this NPTA reference block, we will be giving torque reference and speed as input. So, torque is calculated by the, torque reference is calculated by the fuzzy logic and the output of MTPA is uh, direct axis current reference and quadrature axis current reference. So, after calculating uh, direct axis and quadrature axis reference currents, we will be comparing it with the actual currents. So, here we have the provision to calculate it. IA, IB, IC will be calculated and it will be given as input to the class transformation. And from here, we are producing a stationary frame, direct axis and quadrature axis actual currents. Then it will be compared with the uh, reference currents ID and IQ. Later, it will be uh, it will be given as input to the PI controllers, and these uh, PID controllers will be producing reference voltages uh, VD and VQ. That will be given as input to this uh, block. So we need to give another one input that is theta, mm -hmm. which is measured uh, from the output bus selector of the motor. And here, by using uh, inverse class transform, we are converting the rotating reference frame alpha and beta to uh, VA, VB and VC. So, this reference voltages will be given as input to this PWM generator that will be producing 6 pulses which will be given as input to the uh, input to the uh, uh, inverter. Okay, So, here we have the battery, this is the uh, inverter and here we have the motor. So, let us calculate the synchronous speed of the motor. Its a number of poles uh, will be 8 because the uh, pole pairs is uh, 4. Okay. So, we shall calculate the reference uh, synchronous speed. See, as you know, the formula to calculate the reference speed is Ns is equal to 120 F by P, right? So, 120 sorry 120 frequency is 50 let us assume the frequency to be 50 and number of poles is 8 so the ref or the synchronous speed is 750 so what we are uh, doing here is we are running the motor above the reference speed above the synchronous speed so initial car initial speed reference is 500 and after one second it will be 1500 okay but the reference uh, synchronous uh, uh, speed is just 750 rpm but we are uh, making the motor to run above 750 rpm by using field weakening method so this mtpa controller will do uh, two functions one is it will be producing maximum torque per uh, unit ampere also it will be making the motor to run above the rated speed by doing field weakening that we will be discussing uh, in a while so, let us come to the fuzzy part. Let us clear this. So, to bring the fuzzy here, you just double click this. It will be coming here. Okay. Now, we shall see what is inside the fuzzy. Just type fuzzy. Click import from workspace and you give the name of this triple F1. Click OK. So now we have these uh, variables, these membership functions, change in error, error and output, okay, right. So let us uh, see this. So we need to give triple F1 here. So, I have simulated the model already. So, we shall see the outputs because since this being a fuzzy, it will it will be taking more time to simulate. 
to to cut short it i have sorry to cut short it right so these are the different outputs uh, so if you click this this will open okay so uh, through this uh, scope we are measuring three things line voltage reference speed and actual speed then finally the torque so this is the uh, line voltage across the phase a and b okay and this is the uh, actual speed red one is the reference speed and blue one with dots uh, is the uh, actual speed so here we have the field weakening happening as you can see when the speed uh, is going above 1500 you could see uh, the current flowing in the reverse direction negative current reference will be given so that will make the motor to run uh, easily above 1500 rpm i mean 750 rpm and these are the corresponding stator currents so uh, that's all about the model uh, uh, please uh, uh, do like our channel and share our channel uh, the same model is available for a download in the link given in the description if you want you can download it and you can use it for your purpose thanks for watching